Hey folks, Quillatian here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Master of Orion. We are playing as the Alarians, and we're currently trying to build up a new fleet of powerful battleships? Battleship level, yeah. Yes, the Concombinator is being assembled now. Excellent. I mean, we still may do a little bit of a mix of, uh, of different things, but for now that's going to be totally okay. Let's take a quick look over at the Empire. Terraforming. Trade goods over here on Zarkovia. Is there any chance... I just have to double click on the icon itself. Is there any chance I want to change this production at this point? Hmm. What is this? This is a volcanic planet. Right. Which means I wasn't able to figure out any way to convert those things. I mean, unless... No. It feels like one of these should to transform it. I mean, this does toxic planets. Uh, this does radiated world. There must be something for volcanic, but... I don't know. Do we ever want to build orbital batteries over here for extra defenses? I mean, it might not be bad, but... No, I think we're just going to keep you on full research mode, and that's going to be perfectly okay. And everyone else is doing pretty legitimate stuff, presumably. How much money do I have? Not much, so we'll save up on that. And, yeah. We've got a little bit more infrastructure that we're trying to squeeze out before building the Navy. Hopefully, that doesn't come bite us in the butt. I mean, if we can finish the infrastructure first and then build the Navy, we're going to be able to build the Navy so much more efficiently. But, of course, if we die first, then bad things will happen. Heads up, Marshall. Hello. Uh, so, this is our optronics research is completed, which unlocks the optronic uh, computer. Also, the shield capacitor, which is quite nice to give a, a better boost to our shields. But, we're going to keep using beams, so we're going to want extra um, um, the philosopher accuracy as much as possible. Ooh, also, the hollow, hollow simulator for a huge morale boost, which would enable to increase our taxes again. Uh, I'm just going to check here and make sure all these upgrades are only for the computer. They are, so we'll just go ahead and upgrade all. So they've all been upgraded what with a new computer, which should also affect all the stuff that's currently in construction. Antimatter drive, probably not a bad idea. Just to get the travel speeds better. This also unlocks, I can't actually tell what that is. It looks like a beam weapon to me. Hold on. Oh, um, nice. There we are. What do we got? Ion Pulse Beam. Harnesses some atomic propulsive force fires at a wave of charged particles at a target. Highly concentrated stream of ionizing radiation overloads the target ship's shields and ablates armor with equal ease. Technology will be used to improve ship designs using auto upgrade. Right. Um, so it doesn't have any... It's got armor penetration. No extra flavor text going on. I mean, we'll probably unlock that. I don't think we're going to be looking for more bombs. I think the better engines is probably a good way to go right now. Uh, also leads to, actually, yeah, Zortrium armor everywhere, as well as Zortrium, or sorry, Zortrium armor, I meant to say, Microlite construction everywhere, to decrease some of our production costs, actually would be stupendous. So let's go ahead and head in that direction, that's going to be fine. And yeah, we could use somewhat better finances here if we can get our hollow simulators up to increase taxes. That being said, we are going to, going to keep working on what we're doing here. You're finishing the pollution processor to fix that, which is going to be lovely. And then you're going to go and start working on these ships, which have been upgraded, which is going to be okay. Missile base, star base next in queue. Very nice. So again, as long as we can we can get another dozen turns here, then we're going to be in great situation. If someone sneak attacks us before that, it's going to be bad. All right, pollution processor is done, which presumably is going to be draining off the pollution. Excellent. Wonderful. Are we happy with the production queue here? Yeah, I think we are. As many people as possible working in production is going to be fine. Obviously, the tech is always nice, but at this point, at this point, we have to just pull the trigger on production. We can't just always be like, well, there's always another good technology right around the corner, which is true. Oh, we acquired armor barracks. Well, isn't that lovely? So we can train tank battalions. Now, can you load up um, troop transports with tank battalions, or are they only used for defensive purposes? I actually don't know. Hmm... Oh, yes, we're going to keep working towards antimatter fission. Thank you very much. Population is growing. You've reached your maximum population. I didn't mean to dismiss you. Who the hell was that that just reached their max? I mean, it's not it's not Zarconia 2 because that was always already true. Romulus Prime is what that was. Do we want to produce um, little civilian transports here? I think the answer is going to have to be no. Man, 26 turns over here, really? 19 production, I mean, that's without the space elevator, sure, but Draconis is making them in 8. Oh, 8 left on this one, because we'd already put some work in. Okay, it's actually 18 overall. 
Yeah, so the production's basically the same, 19 versus 20, but this is with the space elevator. Okay, these are big ships. I mean, a long time to build, but it's going to be such a huge boost to our power when we've got that. And then basically, we're going to turn our attention to whoever. Ooh, our jump gates are finishing. That's going to be really nice for moving around our empire as well. Um, so, I'm going to move you here. It might be the Sakura that we go up next. Um, that's one. How come it only prompted me for one of them? You... We'll also go ahead and build one. Um, ultimately, I'm going to want one in most places, but probably something like a couple of jumps apart, right? Like, if I've got a jump gate here, why don't I build one here? Because that'll give us some easy reach to a couple of different places. I mean, the important thing is really to sort of have the destination jump gates on the end of our empire. But we sort of want jump gates throughout the internals of our empire to make it easy when we build new ships. Especially major systems. Uh, I guess we'll just um, go ahead and just capture the spy for now. Maybe we can negotiate for the release later on. Since I think it keeps pay costing them money. So I really should just do the capture instead of anything else. Uh, growth is still happening, although relatively slowly right now. I think what I'm going to do is move one scientist in the three food slot over here. I think that's a pretty good idea. Nothing's being produced right now. We can terraform you some more, which is probably what we should do. Although the pressure engineer is not bad. Ooh, ultra rich. High gravity, but you've got the gravity generator. You know what? Let's go and put you over here. You're always going to be maxed out on production. The question is, do we go and build? I mean, the space elevator, I mean, it costs maintenance, but it's just an automatic thing. The orbital shipyard is... Oh, can you always build this? I assume you had to choose between the science one and the, the orbital shipyard. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to build. The maintenance is about the same as the space elevator, um, despite the fact that it's only 20% discount. But putting both of these together would make this an amazing place to build stuff. Um, could also squeeze out the holo simulator so I can increase the taxes. I think... Part of me is tempted to just start building one Cucumbinator over here. And actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build exactly one and then go to terraforming over here. And we'll keep maxing out the size of this planet. And it's going to be fantastic if we can get more people on an ultra-rich planet and then make this the prime um, ship production center for an entire empire. I'm going to squeeze out one ship because we do need a fleet. But then we're going to go back to building infrastructure there for the future. If we can get, like, five battleships then we should be freaking golden, I think. And leader level up. Yes, that sounds great. We're going to pay you more in salary, but you're going to do even more research than before, which sounds fantastic. You're going to auto move, which is okay. And we'll go to the next turn. One turn away from antimatter fission. We'll have to do another um, uh, blueprint upgrade, but that's okay. And Terran portal. All right. Are you still only coming out with destroyers or are you going to be showing up the cruisers now? Okay, we got the broken cutscene. Um, that I can't exit from. Huh. You know what I didn't do before this is Google, like, uh, Moo, Broken, and Terran cutscene, or it's diplomacy screen, or something. Now, I mean, hmm. Yeah, there is an autosave, so as far as we can tell, this has worked out so far every time so far, if I just Alt F4, which is what I'm doing now, and then Reload Master of Orion, and then Reload from the autosave, so far it's all been fine. Might be a little different on the attack, but yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Also, stupid, unskippable cutscenes of Doom. I mean, most of them are, just not this initial couple of logos. The actual um, intro video is skippable. Come on. Come on. There you go. Loading, please wait. I'm not patient. I don't want a loading, please wait. And then you get this one. Okay, single player. Continue. And let's hope we haven't lost any real progress here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, like I'll delete the entire game and then reinstall from scratch. I've done a like a validation of the files and didn't seem to fix anything. Heads up, Marshall. Uh, we're gonna take the pulse beam. Thank you very much. And the bomb miniaturization and beam. the new drive, which is great. So what it's going to do right now is just upgrade our drives because it's possible that our weapons set up with the Graviton Cannons are superior. What we're going to do is upgrade that, and I'm going to take a look at the design. Uh, yeah, work towards nanotechnology, please. Let's take a look at the battleship over here now. 
Oh, edit. Um, so the Graviton Cannons have a DPS of 2.5. The Ion Pulse Beams actually have a DPS of 461. But for double the size. Which means their effective DPS is actually going to be lower. It's assuming the same modifiers and things yet. No modifiers yet, because I think the Ion Pulse Beams haven't been miniaturized in any way whatsoever. So we are not going to make any changes to this design, um, other than the new engine, which is groovy. Alright, so the Antaran Portal is open. So yeah, it did autosave before showing me the cutscene, which is nice. We've got three destroyers, three frigates. They are leveling up, so that might be a thing. You're going to New Prime over here, which is currently building a space elevator. Um, it has... It doesn't have orbital batteries. Probably call them ground batteries all the time, and I apologize for that. That's just what they used to be. But it does have a star base and a missile base. So that's good. So we're going to just move this over, and apparently we're not going to be able to quick buy this, which is too bad. Maybe we'll be able to squeeze out enough money just in time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and increase our tax rate to 3 BC per pop at this point. Yes, we'll have a few people on strike. Not a ton of them, though, and it makes a big difference financially. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Hmm. And if I recall correctly, I don't have an actual fleet going around, right? That's construction fleet. Uh, oh, there we go. We have one cruiser, I think. So we're going to send you over here. And then, yeah, just construction fleets. So you're going to be building me a uh, jump gate right over here. Which I think is going to be swell. How many turns before you get there? Oh, it's very dim, but five turns is what it looks like. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Sure. I don't know. We might have enough money to buy some um, the orbital batteries. And then that might be okay. Deep sea cooling uh, completed over here for some more static money. We're going to go and build you a hollow simulator since your people are cranky. And I will go and move some extra production over here. I think something like this. It sucks to lose some of the research, but let's get that rate improved, and I think that'll be swell. Uh, you've just grown. You're 10 to 15. You've got a little bit of crankiness as well. You're going to do another round of terraforming. Um, I'm actually going to change the order of this a little bit, since you currently have a lot of space. I'm going to do the hollow simulator first. And over here, you don't have anyone on strike. Okay, this is the only place doing trade goods. We could look at other places that have more people on strike over here, like Mew2 over here um, actually seems like an excellent candidate for, oh, you don't have a government support facility or anything, which is a lot cheaper and faster to build than the hollow simulator. So go ahead and squeeze that in and then you can finish your terraforming. And then we'll probably need the hollow simulator to keep people happy over here too. Okay, fleet needs orders, that's you. No, no, you're just going to, um, oh, go ahead and be upgraded that's a lot of money i'm just gonna go ahead and skip your turn i would rather buy the orbital batteries so i'm hoping they cheapen enough if they don't i will go and give this thing an upgrade uh right before the enemy fleet shows up because i'm assuming the orbital batteries will effectively give more strength you will definitely take the production boost kiyomi and you are our first Q Combinator, which is fantastic. Now, out of curiosity, is there any chance you can get there in time? 11 turns. Why are you saying 11 turns? Because even though... Oh, jump gates are not instantaneous? Oh, oh, you actually have to make it to this jump gate, then you're going to use a shortcut. So it's going to take 8 turns there, 9, 10-ish, something like that. Okay. Yeah, it's because we don't have all of our jump gates yet. So you'll never make it to that front. So I'm going to get you to just, um, you know what, maybe just chill out at Draconis Prime. Or actually, chill out over here, because that is where gonna, there's going to be a jump gate later on, and that's going to be okay. Um, so yes, you've got another turn to wait, that's going to be fine. You over here, Mr. Construction, did you actually start your jump gate construction? I think you would have prompted me next turn for a command, but there you go. Okay, it arrives in one turn. Can we buy? No, we can't buy the orbital batteries. So we're simply going to upgrade this ship over here to the latest design. And hope that that's going to be enough. And this Cucumber, I think you're just going to go into sleep mode over here. And you'll just skip a turn and then we'll see how it goes. All right, battle against the Antarans over here. Do we get another cutscene that freezes us? We'll see how it goes. So I will take command. I like that the odds are favorable.
And I don't think there's anything I really need to do. This guy's gonna move forward. Get the sniper sort of build, but... Probably my future ship designs. I should probably just set to, like, no specific strategy more. Great damage there. Ignoring the shields and everything is very nice. Did one of them just ram? And what happened there? Okay, that went shockingly well. Shockingly well. Fantastic. Okay, good. And... Now we're stuck again. Amazing! Another Alt F4. It's a good thing it auto saves before it brings this up every time. Yeah, I'll do... I'll delete it and do a full reinstall. As far as I can tell, like, I can't find... I did a Google search in the other window, and I can't find any specific fix there. I'll check the, the YouTube comments. It's possible that someone else has uh, gotten something. The problem is, uh, of course, I'm pre-recording a lot of these episodes. So um, if you guys have watched, like, you know, the last few episodes and I haven't responded to something, well, that's why, because I pre-record these things. It's kind of annoying, but it may have to do with the fact that I was on press build for a little while. There's all sorts of different possibilities um, that could be the result of this. There's not, like, an option to just, like, disable animated leader screens or something of that nature is there Let's take a look at the options over here you can disable gnn Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, well, at least the autosaving has saved us every single time so far. So that's a blessing. <laughs> You've survived. You're at full health, in fact. That's great. Um, am I going to have you meet up with the other fleet? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over here. And actually, I'm going to do the same thing with the Q Combinator. And that's probably where we'll assemble. And we'll probably make a run at the Sakura first. I think green is Sakura. Yeah. It seems very convenient for us to rip through there. I mean, they're not the single most powerful person. But, in fact, I think the Mechlon are. And that will be a good way for us to reach the Mechlon. Through there. Yay! ECM Jammer. And not necessarily a tech I'm planning to use personally. But nice to have as an option um, for my star bases and stuff. I mean, although, hmm, I don't know. We may go and put in the ECM jammer. We'll have to see how it goes. Parima Prime is Terran Abundant. It's got gold, but that, that doesn't matter. It's just a flat amount of money. Uh, you're heavy on the production, so there's no more terraforming to be done. Uh, you do have uh, one whiner, so it's probably a good idea to build a hollow simulator. Um, and then you're a Cylon planet, so we'll probably put you on research. So I don't know if we worry about building a space elevator. I should probably put in the deep sea cooling. Nothing wrong with doing that. Could get some extra um, spy defense in general, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is move some of the less productive construction people just over here, just for some more science. I realize it's going to take forever to build that hollow simulator, but I think I'm okay with that. So you are going to just go into guard duty. That's going to be okay. And we'll assemble a fleet over there. We've got a new cucumbernator coming in soon. Are the battleships 6? Because I know we were at 11 supply, now we're at 17. It's either that or the jump gates count as an extra one. So, uh, we're going to we're gonna just capture you. It's fine. Romulus Prime is getting some pollution, and it is growing slowly. Um, I'm going to sneak in a... What's your planet type? Terran, so it doesn't really matter what the base one is. As long as the maintenance is a little... Yeah, we'll just build a pollution processor, which is, like, the only thing we ever need. Do we want to finish the, cu the cucumber reader first? I think the answer is yes. Hopefully the pollution won't rise to the point of being a problem before then. It's only growing at a rate of two per turn, and it's got a pretty high limit, so I don't think we have to worry too much. Starbase was completed at new three, which is nice, getting a decent amount of production. Uh, it is a poor planet. It is toxic, which means toxic processor will change this to barren which means we can start doing some conversions, which is great. I think I'm going to leave it like this. 
Again, the food's always going to be kind of poor over here, so these guys here can at least produce two production per. I don't think I'm going to add more. Mostly happy about the research, so we'll slowly try to convert this planet over to something else, and that's going to be okay. Money's accruing, but I don't think I'm going to make any changes. In fact, it's possible, depending on what techs we unlock, we'll have to do a big fleet upgrade or update before we go into the war, so we'll want the money. We're going to go and capture some more people. Still level one defensive boost, but apparently we're doing a pretty good job. We have two defensive spies, which is going to help. All right, we've got another jump gate done. So we may not need one in Mentar, because um, we've got two jump gates flanking it, which I think is the sort of thing I'm going to do. We're going to need one. So Magnus has got one, so I think the next place to build a jump gate is either in Zarconia or Romulus. Zarconia, one of these is a super productive planet, so I'm going to put the warp gate in there, and I think that's going to be quite good. Why do I bother offering proposals when it's so much simpler to take what I want? Okay, you're saying that, but you're offering me an alliance, as well as a bribe to do it. Um, you're who I... well, actually, you know what, I'm going to accept. Because that will let me focus entirely on the Slaw and the... or the Sakura and the, uh, the Mechlon. You are a fleet commander that increases travel speed and empire-wide research? Yes. Let's do that. Let's go and add you to... Um, add you to one of our Q Combinators. Excellent. Well, that's very nice. Hollow Simulator, Orbital Batteries, Space Elevator, Nanotechnology is about to kick in, which I think has the Microbiotic... or not the Microbiotics, the whatever. The Construction Boost. Which is going to be quite significant. The philosophers have microlite insight. Reduces populate or er, production cost by twenty five percent in all colonies. Massive. Also, the armor change. Which yes, we will go ahead and take the upgrade all on that. What is the will? And then we have to decide what we're going to research next. Armor barracks we've already got, which means we just get to take powered armor from marines to work better, which is nice. It also unlocks robo miners. Plus two flat production and plus one production per cell becomes massive for our ship production overall. I actually think that is what we're going to do. I think I like that a lot. Uh, we'll upgrade the Q Combinator. That's a lot of money. But Zortrium Armor is a huge defensive boost. New Prime over here is rich. We've got Cylon. It's too bad that we're not going to be using the Cylon's production or uh, science boost too much over here. Um, because we'll probably be using the fact that it is a rich planet instead. No reason to shuffle people around, I don't think. Um on the basis that um, it's not like our race gets the production boost anyway. So it looks like a neutron collider here would be good. It's only gonna take one turn as well, which is kind of interesting. Must have had a lot of overflow from something else. Probably want the colonial revenue service as well, just because it's gonna grow. It is a desert planet right now. It's probably worth doing some terraforming. I'll actually do the hollow simulator followed by terraforming over here uh, because as this grows, it might actually hit a bit of a of a whiny limit. So we'll take a look at that point. Um, it is stagnant currently. Which means we're going to have to pull one guy off here to the food. Actually, I'm tempted to do two. So that we can actually get the population to grow. Um, once some of the terraforming and stuff kicks in, it'll be a lot better food-wise. I think that's probably worth doing. All right, fleet needs orders. That's a Q Combinator, so you're going to meet up over here. Excellent. This jump gate's about to finish, which is going to make a big difference. We're grouping up our fleet. Threatening fleet detected. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, this is abundant. Abundant, and it's full of Cylons. So the question is, what are we going to do with it? It's currently aired, which to me says another round of terraform. It looks like this atmospheric renewer is about to finish. No, I thought... I guess I'm just misreading the background. It looks like the production's partially made, but I'm realizing, no, that's just the color. Every one of them's got something like that going on. Um, so I think probably this is just going to become a science center. But do I want to go and do the terraforming for more food and more population cap? I mean, it's not like we're at the cap right now. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, it doesn't have any... Um, doesn't have a Starbase or anything. Hold on. Starbase. Missile base. I don't know about the orbital battery. Actually, they're pretty cheap. Undo that, and then queue up terraforming. But what I'm going to do is 
just leave the guys with the three production in there. Realize this is all going to take a fair while to get through, but in the meantime, we get a bunch of extra tech coming in, which is handy. Uh, what about you, Romulus? You are a new system. Um, I definitely want you to focus probably on growing first. That's going to be okay. Uh, it's probably worth throwing a biosphere in here just for a little flat boost early on. Um, we'll build you the cheap government support facility and then probably do the star base, missile base, orbital battery thing. Um, but we'll have to wait for some of the production to move over there, so that's going to be fine. If I just told you to be production oriented, I mean, you'd grow for now. Just do this. I'll try to remember to revisit you. I think if we do it this way, new people will come in as farming first. Although, I guess that wouldn't be so bad because the population would keep growing faster and faster and faster. And, you know, there's something to be said for that. All right. The warp gate is done. Now, the question does become how many more, or jump gates, I should say. How many more of those do I want? Tell you what, you, why don't you build a jump gate here? I think I was going to build one on the other side, but now I'm going to take this guy and build a jump gate there. That might be a little bit too much, but I think, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, both of these systems do have, you know, a pair of planets that are habitated. Therefore, there's more likely to be stuff spamming out of it. So it will help to have a local jump gate for both of those. So I think that's going to be all right. Other than that, we're going to keep assembling our fleet. Excellent. And I guess with that, we're going to put in a cut. I realized there was a little less gameplay here because I had to restart things twice. But um, I am liking the fact that we are assembling a fleet of ships that should actually be quite dangerous. Uh, power armor, power... Yeah, more production is going to be nice, but this doesn't unlock a new tech for our ships. Um, I don't think we're on the cusp of a new ship tech regardless. Um... Fighters, techs, keeps getting cut off. Well, there's the Titan level, but I don't think we're ready to build the Titans quite yet. 15% more ship space is also quite nice, but these are pretty expensive. So yeah, we're not on the cusp of like a new Graviton Beam or a new Shield or something like that. So I don't think there's going to be any more upgrading for our ships. I think it's great for us to spend some time researching things that is just planet infrastructure for now. And then what we'll do is we'll make a, 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 a sort of push for the Titan and Mega Fluxer techs. Uh, tech and then get ready for whatever our next generation of ships will be. Thank you very much for watching another episode folks and I'll see you guys next time.